Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Today we're looking at two-way tables. Now, two-way tables can be another good way, along with tree diagrams, to organise information so that we can find probabilities of multi-stage events. So I'll give you an example of what a two-way table looks like. So this is the kind of thing you might get. So we have a table here. It's just some made up survey of students and there are two stages to this. One, whether they go for New South Wales or Queensland and that's displayed on the top along here. And then the other stage is whether they're good at maths or not good at maths and that's displayed down the side, okay? So in each cell is the number of students that are in each of these categories. So this 450 here means the student, because it's in this column, goes for Queensland, and because it's in this row, means they are good at maths. So there are 450 students who support Queensland who are also good at maths, okay? Now, some questions you will have to finish off the two-way table. So the end column, here, the rightmost column, and the bottom row along here, they're totals. So, we're firstly going to finish this two-way table and then use it in some probability questions. So, if there were 500 people in total who were good at maths, that's what this number means, and 450 went for Queensland, obviously 50 went for New South Wales. So, if there were 450 here that go for New South, uh, that go for Queensland, sorry, and there were 600 in total that go for Queensland, 450 of them were good at maths, the number that goes here must be 150 because this number plus this number has to equal that number. That's what they mean. So the number that goes in the next cell along is 50 plus 300, which is 350. Okay, and then what goes in here is 150 plus 300, which is 450. Now, these two numbers and these two numbers need to add to the same thing, or you've done something wrong. So there were 950 students surveyed in total. 600 of the 950 students go for Queensland, 350 go for New South Wales, 500 were good at maths, and 450 were not good at maths. So we can use this in probability question. So let's say I want to find the probability that someone went for Queensland. Well, that's very simple. I find all the students who went for Queensland, which is this number here, divided by the total number of students. So if I pick a student at random, the probability they go for Queensland is 600 over 950, which is 12 over 19. So a little bit more than 0.6. So this table is very useful though for doing add or end, sorry, or or questions. So let's say I want to find the probability that somebody from this sample goes for Queensland and is good at maths. Okay, now most Queensland supporters are good at maths because Queensland supporters are smart. So looking at the table, how many go for Queensland and are good at maths is this number here, 450. So 450 go for Queensland and are good at maths out of the 950 in total, and then this would be 9 over 19. So the probability that if you took a student at random that they go for Queensland and are good at maths is just 9 over 19. Okay? So what's the probability here? We'll do an or question that they are not good at maths or they go for Queensland, okay? So this one is kind of a tricky one, but the two-way table makes it easy. So we have to find all of the cells, all of the little rectangles in the table that satisfy this criteria. That includes students who are either not good at maths or go for Queensland, okay? So that would be firstly this cell here, and this cell here, these are students who are not good at maths, okay? But we also need to include the students who go for Queensland. So we've already included those who go for Queensland and are not good at maths in this cell, but we need to include this one here, because this includes people who go for Queensland 
but are good at maths, okay? So it's everyone but this cell here, okay? So if we look at it, we can see the number of students that are either not good at maths or go for Queensland is 450 plus 150 plus 300, which is 900. And again, there were 950 students in total. So 950, 900 over 950, which is 18 over 19. Very high. So that means the probability that if you selected a student at random from this survey, this made up survey, the probability that they are either not good at maths or go for Queensland is 18 over 19. So it's very, very likely you'll pick up one of those students. Hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.